Alright guys, uh, I'm not sure what the order of my video is going to be, but I'm out here in a new park. Uh, my new place, I actually live right over there, so it's a very nice close park. Uh, trees are pretty old, uh, so stay tuned, hopefully we can find some stuff and save some history. Alright guys, I thought I'd get you off for the first find. I'm going to do a little cherry picking now, i got about an hour until daylight, uh, maybe until uh, sunset, so let's do cherry pick and see if, there's, if it's worth coming back to this place. First, you know, an 81. Got ourselves an old penny. Let's see if we can get a date real quick. It's not a wheat cent, so it's not 50s or older. I think it's the 80s. So, all right. All right we'll second find is this thing. This thing was maybe the loudest target I've ever heard, uh, ever to be honest. It was bouncing between low to high 90s. Uh, strong, strong signal. So I don't think anybody's been here. They definitely would not have left this. So when I say uh, cherry picking, coin shooting, I'm just looking for some high tones, uh, just to see if anybody's been here and found anything uh, and took the good right, stuff. I'm not sure what I have here, besides it being a triangle of brass, I'm assuming it has something back here. I don't know if it's a letter or number, one second, let me do a little quick pants rub. I'm not sure what that is, maybe it was glued onto something, but uh, nice high tone again, uh, sound like a penny, uh, about four inches deep. Uh, it is like in the 50s today here in New York, so uh, New Jersey, so. I had two things in the hole. There was a high tone and then like a scratchy mid tone. This was a mid tone. I think it's a hot rock. Uh, but this thing, I don't know what it is. Um, it's shaped like an arrowhead. It might, looks like it's broken over there. Um, but we'll clean this up later and uh, see if there's. I don't even know. Yeah, it looks like a metal arrowhead. All right, pretty. Not sure what this is, but I uh, found another one of them. So we'll post this on our DV later. Hopefully somebody will know. I'm right, not sure what this is, so I took my phone out. It's obviously broken. I mean, it looks like a tag up there. Parable, I guess I'll be able to... It's not very old, I don't think, but... Something cool, maybe it's a... I don't know. I had, like, a, my deepest signal so far. I don't know how many... I don't know, four, five inches. Uh, I don't think it's a bell. My first guess, but I got down to uh, another layer of soil. You can see the color. Uh, like a red... I don't know, all my experts out there. I'm in Jersey. Uh, maybe that's a good sign that uh, I was able to find a deeper layer of soil. Uh, the ground is beautiful, so I think it's pretty heavy. Maybe a bell. We'll clean it up and see it in the rack. Alright, it's low light, um, so I don't want to do too much filming. I want to try and get as much time as I can. Just found this thing. It says made in Canada over there. I don't know if it's part to a toy car or a truck or something, but we'll keep it. Alright guys, it is uh, day two, afternoon two here at the new park in Jersey. Uh, we got my first significant find. Uh, it is a wheat scent. Looks like it's from uh, the 40s. Uh, right near a old tree, so uh, there could be some silk. Not sure what I have here. I thought it was a uh, a bolt or something or a nail or screw, but maybe it's a hose nozzle. Uh, we'll clean this up and uh, you'll see. All right, guys, it's my third trip out here. I got a really strong signal. Thought it was going to be a, either a quarter or silver, but got ourselves a car. It's been a while since I found a car, so I would gladly take that. Let's see if we can get some identification real quick for you guys. The old pants rub. Um, yeah, I can't read it right now. It says Mattel, I think, right there. Uh, but we'll be able to get a date and a uh, model. So, pretty cool. It will clean up nicely, I believe. Alright, guys, this will be your new uh, wrap up view. So, get used to it as the seasons continue to change. Uh, the trees will get leaves, the grass will grow green. Uh, maybe we won't be able to see and hear the street so much. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for all the videos and how that progresses. But anyways, on to the wrap-up and the finds from the park that is... We well, can't see it, but the street's right there. So it just goes the first street right there. So it's about a two-minute walk, one-minute walk, one-minute walk. Beautiful. Um, there's also another park uh, right behind those houses, which is also a two-minute walk. So that will be the next park. But anyways, on to the wrap-up for this first park. Uh, we'll start, I guess, with down here with the change. I honestly don't know how much I have. Um, you can see that most of it, not most of it, all of it, uh, has been in the ground for a while. Uh, most of it, it's all modern. Uh, I think probably 70s, 80s on. We have one wheat scent, which was a nice surprise. Looks like it's a 41. So I might go back to that park one more time um, just to see. Uh, if there's a couple little spots I haven't hit yet, but not sure yet. Um, then on to the big items. Um, I had three of these. 
I don't know what they are. I'm going to assume they're related to these, which are uh, big toys, big toys, patent pending from Canada. They're like clamps. Uh, they go for jungle gyms. They've been around for about 40 plus years. Uh, and it makes sense that I'm at a park with playgrounds that those would be there. Um, they ring up really nice. They sound uh, like a pure 90 on the uh, ace machine. So like a quarter, like silver. Very nice. Uh, I kept hearing them in a, little, in, a, in a big area. I kept digging them and eventually I stopped digging them. I'm sure there's some more out there. Um, and then we got this thing, which I still think is a bell, but I guess it could be also for the jungle gym, the jungle gym playground. I was gonna say jungle gym playground and I came down into jungle gym. But yeah, this could be related to that or it's a bell, like my first initial thought. Uh, we have this piece, I don't think I videotaped it. I don't know what it is, some sort of slide. Nothing fancy, you can see the metal is peeling. Uh, then we have this little thing here, which is modern because it has a plastic label. I think it says Berebi or something. Uh, I think it might be Italian or something, a tile, something similar. Uh, yeah, all this will go into the trash and we have this thing, which I made a joke was like uh, a metal arrowhead, but it's probably maybe, my buddies think it could be for a fence. I don't know. Um, and then this thing, another thing which I still don't know, I, my first instinct was, uh, like I said, uh, like a hose nozzle, but who knows, could be related to the jungle gym again. Um, and then the last find of the hunt and of the video was this 2011 Dodge Charger RT from Mattel. Mattel was founded in uh, 1945 uh, out in El Segundo, California, which is around uh, Venice, Santa Monica, Dockwather Beach. It is, uh, uh, yeah, Southern California, sorry. Uh, but I haven't found a car in a while, so awesome little find. So stay tuned for more New Jersey videos. Hopefully we'll get some on onto some permissions. Uh, obviously there'll be more parks, uh, maybe some farms and uh, beaches and rivers, creeks. So stay tuned, thanks for watching, and as always, pick up some trash when you're out there. Beep, beep.